Congratulations on the book, a New York Times bestseller. This is crazy. Yeah. I can't even believe that I am an author. It's amazing <laughs> what you've accomplished. Let's go back to your purple badness and talk about your association with him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, how did you meet Prince? I got a call one day on my cell phone, and it was someone saying that Prince wanted to contact me. Because mm -hmm. Prince ain't got no damn phone. <laughs> My uh, reaction was the prince of what? Of nah. who? Like what? I had no idea. Like he wasn't someone that I was like thinking about. Right. Um, and I ended up flying out to LA and uh, performing in a music video of his. Which one? Crimson and Clover, a remake that he made a couple of years ago. Yes. Um, in doing research about you. I shouldn't have been surprised by this, but people are obsessed with your legs. That's what you use, those are your wheels. <laughs> yes. There are websites, there are pictures, there are, I mean. I didn't know this, oh. by the way. I, oh. Yeah. So. All you have to do is be interested in you, and all that <laughs> stuff just starts popping up, you know? Well, this is, this is everything, you know, as, as an artist, this is my instrument. These yeah. are my instruments here, yes. so. That's your Gibson guitar. Yes. <laughs> Um, have you ever injured your leg or legs or body? Uh, yeah, I've had so many injuries, but mm -hmm. the most recent, you can probably see the scar. Oh, yeah. um, I had six stress fractures in my tibia, mm -hmm. which is like football players, pro right. professional athletes have this exact same injury. Uh, mm -hmm. And I had a plate screwed into my tibia, uh, titanium plate. Yeah. So I'm wow. good to go in the airport. <laughs> you don't ring? No, I do not. I do not. Because <laughs> it's titanium. <laughs> I have two in my knee. Do you so go I off? An, don't go off. You don't carry a little note with you when you go through the security? Uh, n well, <laughs> I have a note, but it has nothing to do with my knee. Uh, <laughs> I prefer to be strip searched. That's what my note says. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I think one of the interesting things that, that we need to note, it's amazing that you're where you are with this book. You were a woman of color. You were a young woman with curves. All the things that they usually tell you you need didn't exist, but you are here. I am. I think I was born to be a ballerina. Uh, I had no idea what it was. I wasn't introduced to dance, to fine arts at all growing up. Um, I came from very humble beginnings and was found uh, at my middle school when I auditioned for the dance team. Mm -hmm. I tried out to a George Michael song, and they made me captain. <laughs> And that was when I realized that I had a gift. How uh, old were you then? I was 13 years old. I then took a free ballet class at my local Boys and Girls Club. Cool. And I was in, on the basketball court in gym, gym shorts and socks, and that was where I took my first ballet class. My teacher saw uh, that I had potential that she'd never seen before and brought me into her, her school on full scholarship. I trained for four years and became a professional, moved to New York and joined American Ballet Theater. What was it that you had? Because you, you had never done it before. What, was it strength? Was it coordination? I think it was a combination of good genes. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, I have natural muscle. So I was able to uh, hold myself in, in positions. I was flexible. I had the right body proportions at the time mm -hmm. before I had puberty. Right, um, right, right, right. I had, you know, just the right proportions. I had flexible feet and flexible limbs. Mm -hmm. And I was a quick study mm -hmm. and strong, so. This is probably a question you've never been asked, but what do your feet look oh, like? Come on. I'm just wondering, because I've seen you on your toes a lot. Yeah, I mean, they, they don't look like a, the feet of a woman who doesn't stand on her toes. Right, 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 right. But right. they're not horrible. And you go through a lot of shoes, huh? Yeah, I go through about 10 pairs of point shoes a week. A week? Yeah. You go through more shoes than Kobe. Maybe I'm working harder. <laughs> well, these days, these days. We all love Kobe. We are hard-working athletes. for Misty Copeland.
Focus is so wonderful to watch.